Assalamu alaikum. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ryan Hosen, working as a research associate at Bangladesh Institute of Peace and Security Studies. Today, our BIPS life is regarding cybersecurity, and to, dis to have a discussion regarding the issue, we have a expert and a senior researcher of BIPS who has been researching and working related to cybersecurity for long. So, welcome, Mr. Khalid Nasir. Thank you for having me. Okay, to get started, uh, at first we would like to know what is cybersecurity from you? Okay, basically when we are living in an information age, so everything, every aspect of our life is somehow related to cyber world. And we are using cyberspace to communicate, uh, to uh, study, to educate ourselves. Right. And we also using a huge volume of trade and commerce via cyberspace. Right. So uh, we all, cyber, uh, the, the design of cyberspace was actually uh, was quite open, but <clears throat> as the days goes on, like there are other elements, like trouble elements that are also present in cyber world. So the people are out there to actually collect our data or put more virus on the network. And this, these are the risks that we need to understand. And how are we going to take, the, uh, take care of the risks and mitigate? This actually falls uh, under, the, uh, under the realm of cybersecurity. I see. So coming to the next question, I would like to ask you is, why do uh, why do we need to know about cybersecurity? Okay, because uh, like I said before, like uh, there are so many aspects of our lives that actually intertwine with the cyber uh, cyberspace. For example, uh, when we actually uh, transfer messages, or transfer files via email or like through social media, we, commonly we don't really care about like what we are putting in. So uh, suppose uh, if a friend of yours actually, uh, he or she ac actually send you a, an email and there is a link in it. So right. without actually understanding, we actually click on it. Okay. Uh, and sometimes it, we, we don't know what, what is actually happening in the background. So a, a, a malicious program can run into the background. And for example, if you're logged into a bank, then the malicious program can actually send some money be, uh, behalf, of you, be, behalf of you to, to the bank and you don't even know about it. So these are the very serious aspects of cybersecurity that we should be aware of. Oh, so that was a very insightful insight being in a social and a technical perspective, I guess. Uh, coming to what we see in every day in newspapers, mm -hmm. in internet and stuff, there are a couple of cyber attacks going on in this. This is a rising non-traditional security aspect of the modern time. Mm, exactly. So I would like to know what are the ways people can get protected from the cyber attacks Actually, this is a very interesting question. Uh, we can protect ourselves by this, just following the simple rules. Like we can always uh, update our antivirus program that when we're using on PC, and we can all things is the same when we are using the mobile devices, and we can also use a two-way authentication system where that uh, we can actually verify our social media accounts as well as uh, email uh, email accounts, and the. And we can also subscribe to, uh, there are thousands of journals, authentic journals on cybersecurity. So if there is an uh, outbreak like a virus or a malware or a ransomware, you will get the update. So these are the, some of the ways we can easily be updated and we can also protect ourselves in the cyberspace. Uh, I hope your technical and expert advice helps people who are hearing the uh, BIPS Live. And we hope to get in touch with you more in future. And thank you everyone for listening. Uh, get, uh, I hope you follow BIP's uh, web page and our Facebook and social media. Uh, thank you everyone for listening to us. Thank you.